I have a driver that says it will fix your slice no matter how bad it is. It's the SF1 driver from Performance Golf. And this thing's definitely interesting. I'm gonna put it to the test next to my standard driver, see what happens, see if it's gonna be a little bit straighter ball flight for you. And if you have a nasty slice, maybe you should look into something like this. So the SF1 has some unique features, but before we get into that, I'm gonna hit some standard shots with my actual driver just to get a baseline so we can compare it something to. I'm gonna hit five shots with my actual driver, then we'll get into the SF1. Driver's been a bit squirrely, so uh, <laughs> bear with me here. Usually hit a bit of a fade, so hopefully should see that on here. Something like that, but that's an over fade for sure. Yeah, something like that's the miss. Oh boy. Okay, that'll serve as a decent baseline here, but let's get into the SF1. So the SF1 is 12 degrees, comes in a variety of different shaft flexes. The main thing that I notice with this thing is when you set it down on the ground, the face is fairly closed, which makes sense, right? If it's gonna fix your slice, the face is gonna have to be more closed because you have the tendency to leave it wide open. And then the other thing here is there's weights on the back end here, which are gonna help close that club face because if you slice, you're usually gonna swipe across, leave the club face wide open. So it's doing everything in its power to help you square up that club face. So let's give this thing a try. We're gonna hit five more shots with the SF1 and see if they're straighter than that crazy dispersion I just hit with my actual driver. Still gonna hit normal shots, not gonna do anything crazy here, just like I hit with my actual driver now. We just have the SF1 here. So immediately off the bat, that felt exactly like the one that went 60 yards to the right with my actual driver. And everything uh, this thing has going on is forcing that to be a little bit more left. Yes, it did fade. Not saying it's going to completely fix a fade, but it should help eliminate those nasty shots that go out of the play to the right-hand side. I mean, even that one. All these swings feel very similar to what I was just doing with my driver. So nothing crazy here. Still a slight fade, right? But nothing crazy far to the right. That one felt pretty good. Okay, that's a bit of a left shot. Kind of rolled that one over, but let's kind of compare the two here. So taking a look at the dispersion here, the yellow shots were the ones with my actual driver and the red balls are the ones that I hit with the SF1. And I'm pretty impressed to be honest. I mean, I missed a couple really far to the right with my actual driver and a few of my shots with the SF1 there seem pretty similar to those and really not missing that far to the right. Yes, there was still a little bit of a fade, but even the ones that I felt like were going too far to the right only went like five or maybe 10 yards more compared to the other ones that I was hitting that were well to the right. And my dispersion is a bit wide, but definitely tightened it up with the SF1 there. So does the SF1 actually help you get rid of your slice? And I would say it does. I mean, with the certain technology that it has, the face that's closed, the weights in the back, it's working real hard to square out that club face. And I was doing a lot of my power that would say the ball is going to the right. And we saw that with my actual driver. And when I switched over to the SF1, it seemed to straighten it out. So if you are a slicer of the golf ball and really feel like you can't get rid of a slice, I would check this uh, SF1 out. We have a link in the description for you to go check it out. But I would say, go look at it. It's definitely interesting. Would I put it in my bag? Maybe. I don't really have a crazy slice to begin with, but if you do, this will really, really help you out. So make sure to go check that out in the description and I'll see you guys in the next one.